Gemini, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things here before we get started. Uh, some information in the description box below that I wanted to mention. There will be an extended reading link. If you would like to check out the extended reading, I treat it like a personal reading. And we look at the next three weeks energy going forward from this reading, all right? Uh, also, two new links below. One is uh, my new tarot and oracle card shop if you'd like to shop some cards. And then also information around personal readings. There's a spiritual advisor link. And then uh, I am also opening up personal readings. So all those details are below, all right? So with that, we're going to get started here. I'm going to pull one card here. This is a message from uh, Spirit and your ancestors. I will read this uh, message at the end of the reading. It's very detailed and insightful, so stick around if you'd like to hear it. And let's pull your cards. We're going to pull past, present, and future energy for you, Gemini. And then we'll clarify what's needed and we'll look at potential challenges if there are any. All right. So let's see what the energy is here for Gemini. Okay. So we've got the Four of Cups. So I'm going to pull your cards first and then we will go through them. Okay. All right, Gemini. I'm definitely picking up a soulmate energy. Your bottom of the deck here, we have the Six of Cups. Okay. Some of you, this could be somebody that is already you're in contact with, and some of you, right? This could be uh, somebody new coming into your life. All right. Let's look at the energies. So, showing up in your recent past, okay, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Page of Wands. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is showing me here that uh, there may be somebody I feel that you're already talking to, already communicating with, um, could be somebody uh, new in your life. If that energy hasn't come in it's yet, it's coming in really soon. It's showing up in your recent past. So this is probably somebody you've already met. Uh, maybe somebody you, you have a past with or you've had some memories with. Uh, otherwise, it could be somebody like from your childhood, a friend, um, even an acquaintance, okay? I do feel with this wheel here, right, um, there is something faded about this connection with this person, okay? Now, with the Four of Cups there, it does feel like there's some hesitation, maybe, right, you're hesitant um, about this person or this person coming into your life. Let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Right, so we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords. Okay, and bottom of the deck here we have the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to say for some of you, you may have recently become single. Um, but let's see what the energy shows here. You have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you're in conflict about something about this person. Um, it could be somebody that you, for some of you, it could be somebody that you've had an argument, a breakup, um, or maybe feeling like there is a third party or some sort of block uh, from you and this person being together, okay? It shows me with the Four of Cups, there could be more than one energy here, right? So some of you may be focused on a specific person, but not realizing that there is someone else around you, another energy, which I'm picking up with that Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you're conflicted. That Ten of Pentacles here, really, it's around your stability, your security here. Okay, maybe feeling like a certain situation 
didn't really get to that stable, secure place, maybe feeling blocked by a third party situation. Let's see why the page of wands is here. Now, some of you could have just come out of a bad relationship, a divorce. Um, I'm seeing here as well that could be hesitation about you, right? Entering into a new love situation. Why is the page of wands here, please? Why is the page of wands here? Okay, we have the magician. We have the three of cups. Look at that. And we have the ten of cups. Okay. And we have the page of wands. There's somebody I feel that you have already met. Like I said, it could be an acquaintance. It could be a friend. Uh, you could have just started talking to this person. I feel there's someone in your energy already, Gemini. And I feel like uh, there's a lot of potential here with the magician, the three of cups and the ten of cups. Okay. So I feel there's potential um, upcoming conversations between you and this person. Okay, this may even be somebody who's already asked you out. I'm getting that as well. Okay, um, some of you could meet this person. I feel upcoming at um, like a family celebration or uh, I'm going to say a wedding or some sort of event. Uh, where there are families, right? Could even be a community event, okay, right? Where people bring their children as well. So you got the Wheel of Fortune there, okay? So it shows me something's going to change here. Why is the wheel here? Okay, look at that. New beginnings there, the Fool card. We got the Chariot. And look at that, the Queen of Wands. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Something's changing here with this Knight of Pentacles. And look at that soulmate energy. you got a soulmate here. You're going to receive some sort of message. Somebody here is going to ask you out. It's coming up real soon. And this may even be, like I said, for some of you, you're going to be in different phases. Some of you, this person may have already right made some sort of gesture. You have the Fool card. You have the Chariot, Strong Cancerian energy. Look at that. Queen of Wands. You were showing up as the Queen of Wands earlier. So I feel like some of you, you could have recently been single or maybe you are single, but I see a new journey here. Okay. I see a change. I see movement forward, which is really nice. Let's uh, look at your next three cards here. So you have here in the current situation, you have the Hierophant, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Justice. Okay, so some of you, I feel like you're either feeling there's a block, as I was talking about here, uh, with a specific person, right? There's a block, something's blocking you and someone from maybe uh, getting married or maybe even being in a commitment or relationship or even just doing things together, right? So I feel like you may be feeling like, right, something just isn't right, this isn't fair type of energy here, okay? But some of you, I'm going to say here, um, this also can be, right, you're feeling just in general, right, that you haven't met that right person, okay, and, you know, you have felt that there are blocks, but I see somebody here with you. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Let's start with that Seven of Wands. Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Why is that Seven of Wands, okay? Okay. I'm going to say here, too, for me, that can also be competition, right? Maybe you're feeling like maybe if there is a specific person, right? Maybe feeling like there's opposition, right? Maybe other people, you know, wanting your person, okay? Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Okay, there's the, the Six of Cups, again, soulmate energy here. We got the Devil, Capricorn energy. Oh, look at that. And we have the lovers. All right. Your energy, Gemini. And look at that. Four of Cups. So, Gemini. Oh, my gosh. This is like Cancer's reading. Different, but like Cancer. So, if you have Cancer in your chart, you may want to check it out. I always tell you uh, a lot of similarities between yours and Cancer's readings. But, Four of Cups here. Okay, so I feel potentially there could be more than one offer. So there may have been a past relationship that didn't work out or you were feeling like it was blocked. And I feel like there is a new energy here, right, that is coming into play. 
and you're going to have to probably at some point make a choice here but i feel like the universe is bringing you a new uh love or a new opportunity here but you, you know there's definitely some hesitation hesitation there and i think this was the four of cups energy yeah that was the very first card in your reading so clarify the seven of wands right that's that block or opposition there we have the six of cups we have the devil and we have the lovers okay so you may still be holding on or stuck on a past situation um and I feel like you got a new soulmate coming in, all right? And so, like I said, at some point here, you're going to have to make a decision about which direction you are going on, going to, or going forward. You know how you're going to move forward in your situation, um, because I feel there's someone new. Either you're talking to this person, or you're going to be talking to this person really soon. And I feel like there's a past situation that was blocked and never made it to. Um, something long term let's see why that hierophant is here why is the hierophant here why is the hierophant here please we got the knight of swords i got the six of wands five of cups okay and we got the four of wands okay some of you are dealing with the twin flame here right not everybody right could just be a soulmate but as i said i feel there was a situation here that was blocked okay and it was either blocked by a third party or i feel that um it didn't work out for whatever reason some of you could even be somebody that you divorced or legally separated but you have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and you have here the Five of Cups clarifying that energy. Again, it's showing me disappointment, right? Things never really made it to the level that you wanted it to. And, right, um, that I feel could be a block, could be a challenge here. We're going to look at challenges. You have uh, Justice. Let's see what the Justice energy is about why is justice here, please? Why is justice here, please? Page of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Okay, well, Gemini, it's showing me the justice is, is this new energy. Because look, you got the Page of Wands there. Look it. And you got the wheel here, too. You had the wheel here, too. Page of Wands and the wheel, Page of Wands and the wheel here. So Gemini, what this is showing me is there's some good karma coming your way. There may have been a relationship that didn't work out in the past. You know, I, I'm going to say here, you know, with that devil energy, I'm sure that that person is going to come around again. Um, that person is going to be somebody that is a temptation for you. They may still already be around. So there's a decision or a choice for some of you. But I feel like the good karma here with this justice energy is there's somebody new coming into your life. What's interesting, you have two pages here. Um, for some of you, I do feel like this could be around you gaining clarity, right, about, you know, which situation is going to come together for you. You do have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. And you have the Three of Pentacles, three people so more and more this feels like this is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make gemini around a couple people here all right let's clear our um actually before we go into the near future energy okay so i told you at some point you're going to have to make a decision i see that upcoming here but let's see what the challenge is here of the situation gemini what's the challenge in the situation here for you Gemini okay so you got the Sun card we have the hangman and we have the page of Pentacles and we have interesting the nine of Pentacles okay so 
I feel Gemini, what's going to happen here, right? I feel like someone is going to take the, the, the a step towards you. And um, I feel like what the challenge is here is that if you don't make a decision about the situation of who you want to focus your time and energy to, like really setting your intention of what you want in a connection or relationship, you could delay things. Definitely showing me here you could delay things, right? Uh, it could delay your happiness here. Um, now, it, I'm going to say here too, I feel here as I said, upcoming here, there's a decision I feel a crossroads energy and you're going to have to take a step in one direction or the other okay so either it's you take a step towards this new energy that i'm seeing here and some of you you know maybe you haven't heard from a past situation okay you're just disappointed disappointed maybe you haven't healed here but you have the nine of pentacles here and this is telling me here, right, I feel like it's a very independent energy. It's showing me that you're very resourceful. You're very smart. Um, you know, it's showing me very attractive. You take care of yourself. So some of you, I feel here, it's more about either there's still some healing that needs to be done from a past situation. And that's where I see the focus and attention is on you. Um and for some, I feel here it's taking a step towards a new situation because there could be a situation here from the past that is not healthy for you, could be toxic, but it could be that you're still just constantly thinking about a specific person, all right? Um, I'm going to say here, too, you have the tower on the bottom of the deck and you have the page of cups. So as I said, I do feel like whoever this person is that... You know, you had some conflict or breakup or there was a block or challenge between the two of you. You know, that potentially is a challenge here is because I feel like that person's going to reach out to you. And, and interesting enough, look at that. The next card is the two of wands and the nine of pentacles, which we have two of wands here and the nine of pentacles again. So it's really, uh, there's going to be, it's a, you're at a crossroads, right? There's two directions you can go with this. And so let's clarify the near future energy. So maybe this will tell us more. Um, you got the six of wands here. So let's see why the six of wands is here, please. Why is the six of wands here, please? And I'm actually, I've been clarifying like almost every card here. And normally I don't do that. So, all right. Yeah, look at that. So there's telling me there's success in your future here. The end of a difficult uh I'm going to say end of a difficult cycle here or phase in your life because you have the star, you have the emperor, and you have the ace of cups. You know, I talked about healing here. I feel like it's a situation where you got to find your own balance, right? You're healing. I talked about this very independent energy. I feel like you are, you know, an energy here of taking care of yourself, taking care of your own needs. Uh, I feel like you were in a past situation where maybe you weren't taking care of you. Maybe you were taking care of somebody else. But I feel um, that's what they're saying here is that you're going to be in control once you start doing that, right? Taking care of you and taking care of your own needs. I see success here, right? And there's the Ace of Cups. I talked about this new love offer. I feel there's a successful connection that is um, about to happen for you, Gemini. But I feel the challenges here is that the energy needs to be focused. You need to focus your energy on you, right? Let's clarify this King of Pentacles because I feel like potentially this could be this person. This new person coming in for you. This soulmate energy that I see here, right? And I feel like it could even be somebody around you already that you're talking with who is um why is the king of pentacles here please could be a nurse sign a capricorn taurus a virgo all right oh boy look at that we got three of swords that doesn't mean anything yet let's see what else we got we got the nine of cups we got the three of wands okay you know what that shows me this is someone who's ready for a relationship we have the ace of swords here we have the Three of Swords, right? This person's experienced heartbreak in the past. 
But I feel like this person is now in a place where they've done their healing. They're content. And I do feel like this is somebody who is looking for a relationship. This is someone who's looking to meet someone, to be with someone for the long term. So I feel there's a stable energy coming into your life, Gemini, uh, with the Ace of Swords here. I feel this is somebody who's very clear about what they want. And I feel like this is someone who is going to be very clear to you right what they want as well okay so um i'm gonna say here right i feel like this is someone who's emotionally secure let's see why the two of wands is here because like i said i feel like you're gonna have to make a decision here why is the two of wands here please why is the two of wands here please okay so we have the queen of swords we have the three of pentacles. Oh boy. <laughs> and we have judgment. Oh boy. And we have the ace of wands. Yeah, just what I suspected here, Gemini. Remember I said there was two pages here, right? I feel you have, um, I feel like you have more than one energy around you somebody where there has been blocks things didn't work out and a new person here and the new person you know may have not asked you out yet it's going to be different for everybody but i feel you got somebody here where there were blocks maybe somebody who was keeping things casual here with this ace of wands somebody um <laughs> the reason why there is a decision i've been feeling this energy is you have the queen of swords the three of pentacles and the judgment there's an opportunity for you and someone that you have already dealt with uh, I feel like we're going to get some communication from this person and there's an opportunity for either for you to get clarity about uh, the situation or I feel there's an opportunity for a second chance. It's going to be different for all of you. You know, not everybody is it going to be where, you know, there's going to be a makeup or, you know, that kind of energy. But some of you, it's clarity, finding clarity for yourself for your own healing and some of you i do feel like there's a second chance for you and this person to work things out and that's why you're going to be at a crossroads here so we'll see in the extended i'll pull this past person's energy and we'll see where things go along with where things are going to go over the next few weeks so either one of these energies can pop up in there and we're going to read your final message here which is a message from spirit it says uh dearest gemini let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment to moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go changing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside of you. Joy and happiness and fulfillment come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this is so you must, I'm sorry, you must know this so when the time comes, you'll be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful even for tears and loss for they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into all and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. All right, so beautiful message there, uh, Gemini. I feel like right finding that starlight within you right is part of your healing so gemini i hope this reading helped you i am going to take it to the extended i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel up